wanted to do was come today to recognize a few people that were instrumental in saving a life on January 6, 2010. I had um, accelerated instead of put my foot on the brakes when I uh, was in, involved in an accident and then drove into the intercoastal trying to stop and brake all the time, but I couldn't. But that day I was very fortunate because all these very able-bodied men were there, including um, Victor Guzman, who um, had just retired from the Navy. And um, he and Mayor Adam Berenger were the first two to, I guess, jump into the water. I was unable to uh, get out of the driver's side. I was um, kind of locked in that space. Adam grabbed me and pulled me out, and I'm not a small person, so it had to take some power to pull me out with the rushing water all around him. They are true heroes of God, or angels of God, and um, I would not have been here today if it weren't for, for them. Um, I'm not a great swimmer, and it was very, very cold. So I, um, I thank all of them. Um, and uh, I hope that um, their heroism will be repaid to them if they are ever in a crisis, because they certainly risked their lives. And I'm very, very grateful. We're presenting an award that's even a little more special. While everyone had a role to play, the mayor was the first one on scene, uh, really, and, and helped rescue her. And we're presenting tonight what's called the Silver Life Saving Medal. On behalf of the Secretary of Homeland Security, the Commandant takes great pleasure in presenting the Silver Life Saving Medal to Adam Barringer for acts set forth in the following. For heroic action on the morning of 06 January 2010, when a vehicle plunged into the Indian River, New Samaria Beach, Florida, Mr. Barringer rescued a woman from the submerged vehicle. Preparing to recognize a local police officer at a formal ceremony near the crash site, Mr. Barringer was alerted by concerned citizens reporting the incident. With complete disregard for his own safety and without hesitation, he ran from the community center and jumped eight feet from the boardwalk into the cold, fast-flowing river. Once in the water, Mr. Berenger quickly reached the rapidly sinking vessel and struggled to find the victim and path to safety. After the passenger side window was open, the vehicle quickly submerged. Cold, underwater, and fighting the vortex effects of a sinking vehicle, Mr. Berenger gained hold of the victim and did not let go until she was able to exit through the window. Once on the surface, he escorted the victim back to the boardwalk where emergency medical staff took over. Mr. Berenger's determined efforts, outstanding initiative and dedication during the rescue resulted in the saving of a life. His unselfish actions and valiant service reflect great credit upon himself and are in keeping with the highest traditions of humanitarian service. Secretary of Homeland Security, the Commandant of the Coast Guard, takes great pleasure in presenting a certificate of valor to Victor Guzman for acts as set forth in the following. For heroic, act, for heroic action on the morning of 06 January 2010, when a vehicle plunged into the Indian River, New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Immediately after witnessing the vehicle break through the boardwalk barrier into the water, Mr. Guzman responded immediately and jumped eight feet from the boardwalk into the cold, fast-flowing river. Without hesitation and disregarding his own safety, Mr. Guzman attempted to assist the woman from her rapidly sinking vessel vehicle. Despite her determined effort, he could not successfully combat the strong current and gain ground toward the victim's vehicle. Noticing other responders closer to the vehicle in a better position to assist, Mr. Guzman reluctantly exited the water and monitored the situation from the boardwalk. His unselfish actions, valiant service, reflect great credit upon himself and are in the highest keeping the traditions of humanitarian service. Secretary of Homeland Security, the Commandant takes great pleasure in presenting the Certificate of Valor to Christopher L. Kirk for acts as set forth in the following. For heroic action on the morning of 06 January 2010, when a vehicle plunged into the Indian River, New Smyrna Beach, Florida, attending a formal award ceremony honoring a fellow police officer in a community center next to the crash site, Officer Kirk was alerted by concerned citizens reporting the incident. Without hesitation, he ran from the nearby community center and secured a window punch device to help extract the victim from a rapidly sinking vehicle. Without regard for his personal safety, Officer Kirk jumped eight feet from the boardwalk into the cold, fast-flowing river. Although the window punch was not needed, he quickly arrived on scene and evaluated the health of both the victim and rescue team. 
using a flotation device, Officer Kirk escorted the victim and the rescue team back to the boardwalk. He remained in the water until each person safely made it into the care of professional medical staff. His unselfish actions and valiant service reflect great credit upon himself and are in keeping with the highest traditions of humanitarian service. Secretary of Homeland Security, the current town takes great pleasure in the certificate of valor to Wayne P. Mecklenburg for acts set forth in the following. For heroic action on the morning of 06 January 2010, the vehicle plunged into the inner river near Samaria Beach, Florida. Mr. Mechtel helped rescue a woman from a submerged vehicle. Taking a formal ceremony honoring his son near the crash site, Mr. Mechtel was alerted by concerned citizens reporting the incident. Without hesitation and complete disregard for his own safety, he ran from the community center and jumped eight feet from the boardwalk into the cold, fast flowing river. Once in the water, Mr. Mechtel quickly reached the rapidly sinking vehicle and struggled to assist the victim. After the passenger was pulled from the sinking vehicle by another rescuer, Mr. Mechtel grabbed a wrapped area rug that floated out of the trunk. Using the rug as a flotation device, he escorted the victim back to the boardwalk where emergency medical staff took over. If not for his heroic actions, a life would likely have been lost. His unselfish actions and valiant service reflect great credit upon himself and are in keeping with the highest traditions of humanitarian service.